So today we went to the city hall and we got a tour over that and we also went to Adapt which was also interesting. So Josh is going to start on what he thought about today. So after visiting City Hall, they brought up uh, something that I've already had kind of a, an opinion on, a little bit of information on. Uh, they they don't practice uh, what, what I would call, what Americans tend to call winner-take-all politics, where whoever wins the 51 or 50.001% of the vote gets 100% of the power. Uh, they they pra practice a proportional representation where you know, if I get, win 40%, I get 40% of the power. If I win 51%, I get 51% of the power. Um, and if I win 4%, I get 4% of the power. Uh, the benefit of that, and they brought it up uh, exactly right, is they say that minorities will tend to be well represented because even if I don't have a lot of say in the in the sheer sense of uh, representation, I can still affect some policies. And one of the things I could do is if I, you know, if I differ from some uh, parties that are similar to me, and and say I support uh, green energy, spending on green energy, uh, I can trade that support for uh, spending on green energy for something uh, for the other parties who want to pass something on green energy to give me uh, throw me a bone on something else that uh, that might be my my big issue so by that using that that uh, that power and that uh, that representation I can I can move the needle a little bit towards my preferences and that's something we don't have in the United States where it's really just almost black and white between the two parties so then we talked with Creston, who is the CEO of Adapt. And one thing I found really interesting is even though his um, company is considered a small to medium sized company in Denmark, it's about 150 employees. He said that he, in order to have an international presence, can be considered to have an international presence, he had to move to the US or have an office in the US. Um, that in contrast with kind of the US mentality in the sense of you never think about expanding overseas as a U.S. company because everyone comes to the U.S. first. I think that was an interesting contrast that I found in the sense of he knew immediately that he had to move internationally. He had to get an office in the U.S. to reach to inter international competitors and like to compete with 